self-belief, self-respect, believing in yourself. All these things are critical elements to you forging forward. All these are key ingredients to you putting one foot in front of the other continuously, day in and day out, and never getting so down on yourself. My brother, Mad Dog Mike Bell, died nine years ago on this very day. December 17th, 2008 is when he passed on. I'll never forget getting that phone call from my dad and hearing the screams of my mother in the background. How'd this all come to be? How did something like this happen? We grew up in a great family. I have two great parents. I have another great brother named Chris Bell. We have good aunts, uncles, cousins. How does something like this happen? Well, here's the way I see it. First of all, I know that a lot of you guys know people that are close to you. I know you have friends. I know you have relatives that are probably drug addicted, um, alcoholic. Uh, maybe they haven't even gone for help yet. Um, but I urge you very strongly to try to reach out to these people. Don't enable. Just say, hey, you know what? I, I think I think you're struggling. And uh, I could be wrong, could be overstepping my boundaries, but I want you to know that I am always here for you anytime you need me. And you may have to do that a couple times because they may not, uh, well, they more than likely aren't gonna be like, oh yeah, bro, that's, thank you doesn't work that way it's a lot more complicated than that and don't fall into the trap of being judgmental <sighs> my brother when when he when he was going through a lot of his problems he would say hey these guys are dirt bags that I'm going to AA meetings you know with and these guys are this and guys are that well people get desperate man and people the wheels fall off the wheels start to fall off at some point and and uh, desperate times call for desperate measures and you know, people, people start acting weird. The way I like to look at it though is a little bit like the show The Walking Dead. When alcohol and drugs get a hold of somebody, you can consider those people bitten by a zombie. They are, they are the walking dead. And they are no longer the same person that you grew up with they are no longer the same person that you remember years earlier. Um, that's what happened to my brother. That's what I saw happen. And it was very sad. It was like watching somebody die before your very eyes. And the reason I'm sharing this with you guys right now is I think that some of you guys can help, help some family members. You can help some friends. But a lot of this starts with the person themselves and not so much your ability or inability to help or them getting professional help. All those things can be big major factors, but in order for life to not get a vice grip around your throat and choke you out, you have to have a lot of things going on for yourself. And you don't have to actually be a big success story. You don't need to have a large bank account. I over the years have lived in many different situations. I, I had bad credit. I didn't have a driver's license. I, I had uh, tons of outstanding uh, parking tickets and speeding tickets and uh, student loans. And I mean, what a loser. I had, I had tons of, uh, I had tons of student loans. I almost got run over again. I had tons of student loans and I never even graduated from college. Um, anyway, you can't let things just overwhelm you. And the way that you don't allow things to overwhelm you, you stay strong in here. And the way you stay strong in there is by picking up points 
and by adding points to the scoreboard. When I played football and the other team would talk shit, you would just point. I'd point to the scoreboard because every team I've ever been a part of kicked the crap out of whoever we were playing against. And you just point. You didn't even have to say anything. You'd be like, scoreboard. Well, I'm adding points to the scoreboard of life all the time, and it's making me feel fucking awesome. That's what I'm talking about in a lot of my messages on Instagram. Talking about adding points to the scoreboard. And when you start looking at other people to admire, when you start looking at uh, other people uh, to emulate, they should be putting up points on the scoreboard. And I'm not just talking about uh, making money. I'm talking about accumulating points in those corners of life that are difficult. Is this person, some of these people that you're emulating, some of these people that you admire, are they well-rounded or are they trying to cut some of these corners? The corners are where the points are. That's how you pick up the points in the first place. There's points in terms of fitness. There's points in terms of nutrition. There's a lot of way to accumulate these points. And why are they important? They're important for your self-esteem. They're important for your self-respect. They're important for you to feel fucking good about yourself. My brother, he could have actually been born this way for sure. And maybe there was no chance for him to get out of it. But my brother felt like shit about himself. And I know a lot of you guys do too. I know we all have these ups and these downs. So we have to figure out how the hell can we manage some of this? How the hell can we stay out in front of some of this? And it's my belief that nutrition and fitness can solve a lot of problems for us. If we take care of ourselves, things will become easier and the the harder that you make your nutrition and the harder that you make your training, the easier a lot of your life can be. You can pick up points in so many different ways. It doesn't have to just be in terms of fitness or nutrition, but you choose to hang out with your family instead of just sitting there on your phone. You choose to uh, do something with your dad rather than um, just going to bed or whatever whatever it might be you you make these choices that are better choices than what you were going to do before my brother chose to make a lot of bad choices in his life and i saw it happen before my very eyes and it fucking sucked and it really uh it, it helped our family in some ways to grow stronger because you just value life so much more when you have a big tragedy like that happen but man, was it devastating. And I would want nothing more. I still have not erased his number from my phone. I would want nothing more than to have him here to join in on this journey. But I think at some point my brother lost himself. And the whole point of me sharing this message with you right now, and the whole point of me being your, in your ear right now, is for me to communicate to you don't ever lose yourself. Don't ever give up on yourself. Things are hard. Things are difficult. They'll get easier if you just keep working. And you just keep trying to find. You just keep trying to find what it is you're in search of. You don't need to know what you're searching for. When my brother talked in the movie Bigger, Stronger, Faster, and he said, I know I have something inside of me that the rest of the world has to know. And I know I know I have a message inside me that I have to share with the world, but I don't even know how to share it with the world. Where he's, share, he's sharing it with the world right now. He didn't know what he was working towards. He didn't know what he was working for. Unfortunately, he's gone. He can't enjoy it now. But it still has a huge impact on the world. It still has a huge impact on the fitness industry. On top of that, on top of my brother inspiring me and my brother Chris to make movies and make great products, my brother and I, Chris and I right now, are working on a nutrition movie that we really think is going to shake up the fitness industry. On top of that, my brother trained John Cena in pro wrestling. And you know, a lot of you people have had a chance to enjoy watching John Cena over the years. Anyway, it's a complicated thing. And it's a devastating thing to watch happen and watch unfold in, in front of your 
in front of your eyes and it's a devastating thing to have your family go through. If you know somebody like this, if you know someone who's struggling, they're struggling with a relationship, they're struggling, this stuff, it has a domino effect and shit starts to slide downhill. That's how it happens in the first place. That's how people get addicted to drugs. People don't want to be addicted to drugs. They end up there. They end up that way because a bunch of bullshit happens to them. Um, I'm not saying that they're not at fault at all, and I'm not saying that they don't have any control, but they lose self-control. We all lose self-control when we lose self-respect. And the more discipline that you can learn and the more discipline you can pattern into your life, the more that you can keep going around those corners and picking up those points, the stronger that you're going to become and the less likely you are to slip down that giant rabbit hole. I know that anxiety hits us all, jealousy hits us all, but if we keep training and we keep putting one foot in front of the other, and I'm not, I'm not just talking about like training as in going to the gym and lifting, I'm just talking about training the mind, body, and spirit for life. Training the mind, body, and spirit and believing in yourself that you are a savage and that you can do anything you want. I went from somebody who couldn't get a credit card to save his life to owning two, two uh, Slanger mansions and uh, you know a bunch of other nice shit that you guys have seen over the years. Don't give up on yourself. I was a bum in a lot of ways. Uh, that's what I would consider myself. So don't ever give up on yourself. Last but not least, RIP to my brother Mad Dog. He was my hero growing up. And he was a hero to my brother Chris as well. And he was somebody that we loved greatly. And he will be missed. I still got your number, bro. And uh, every time I watch WWE, I want to pick up the phone and give you a call. Even though I know it's not rational. I know I can't do it. But uh, I wish you were here. And I wish you were here to enjoy the journey that you started for me in our dad's, in our family uh, basement that my dad converted into a gym. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later.